Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, listen up because this drama is straight off the charts ridiculous. Apparently, our dear disingenuous duchess has been exposed for pulling an outrageous scam on the wonderful people of Nigeria during her and Hairball's recent odious royal adjacent tour over there. I'm talking full-on criminal levels of fakery and fraud, y'all. The tea has officially been spilled by none other than legendary UK military badass General Christopher Musa, who is basically Meghan's worst nightmare come to life in the form of a decorated war hero who doesn't suffer lies or BS gladly. Musa came out swinging in a recent explosive interview, absolutely eviscerating Meghan for trying to falsely pass herself off as an official HRH royal to the Nigerian people and institutions she encountered. This man saw right through her manipulative grifter antics from a million miles away. I can just picture mugs seething behind closed doors somewhere, eyes bulging and nostrils flaring, as she realizes her latest scheme to exploit an entire nation's people for optics and attention has blown up in spectacular fashion. According to Musa, the audacious American airhead was throwing around her totally illegitimate duchess titles and pretending to have some kind of legitimate royal authority. Just a blatantly fraudulent abuse of privileges, she very clearly renounced and gave up. In Musa's decorated military mind, Meghan's actions amounted to a gross misrepresentation at best, and potential criminality through impersonation at worst. Either way, he clearly recognizes the outrageous scheme for exactly what it is, an overprivileged narcissist once again exploiting her former status for profit and public adoration she 100% does not deserve. And of course Musa, having actually fought in grueling wars to protect democratic values and preserve real justice, was having absolutely none of Meghan's phony self-promotional chicanery on his watch. This man has been through the ringer of life-or-death battles, so a petulant former C-lister's delusions of grandeur are barely even a flesh wound to contend with. But still, he clearly felt the need to go full scorched earth on Meghan after seeing the extent of her entitled scheme unfolding in real time. Musa outright labeled her behavior as utterly deplorable and a direct shameful attack on the integrity of honest public institutions, democratic processes, and really just civilized decency in general. In the military legend's mind, someone like the Duchess who has willingly renounced her tenuous ties to the royal family has absolutely zero right to keep dangling her small-time HRH pedigree around as a means of coercing more intimidating others. Those privileges were given up the second she tossed the crown aside for celebrity riches, PR spin, and outright truth-bending falsehoods about the firm that brought her marginal notoriety. And let's be real here. Musa is 100% correct in dragging Meghan to those fiery depths for her actions in Nigeria. This woman has less than zero right to prance around using noble titles she literally rejected while concocting self-enriching lies and manipulative PR stunts along the way. It's an insult to the hard-working taxpayers and veterans who sacrificed so much more than she ever has. At this point, every single person with a platform on planet Earth should come out swinging against Duchess Delusionpence and her incessantly brazen attempts to milk unearned status and privileges from the teat of the royal institution she so vehemently turned on. Just imagine the sheer audacity of this woman, daring to roll up into communities and government spheres pretending she deserved some level of deferential treatment or access purely because her narcissism still craves being perceived as an HRH. For someone who constantly preaches about her truth, Megan seems to contradict herself with fake news falsehoods every other day. I can just picture the shady behind the Sussex scenes video calls right now, Megan shrieking in desperation while Harry cowers in the corner sipping a room temperature soy beverage of some kind, letting his puppet master wife fume. How dare Musa blow the lid off my glamorous misinformation campaign to enshrine myself as the Queen of Nigeria? This was all going to be my triumphant return to the people, the one chance I had to finally indulge my colonizer wifey fantasies without that backwards royal institution holding me back. The people were supposed to see a descendant of their ancestors' oppressors as some benevolent liberator icon, purely because of my notoriously thin charisma and the HRH prefix on my resume. 
I guess I was mistaken in trying to pull the world-renowned Duke and Duchess of Delusionville's greatest grifting stunt yet. The level of entitlement and grotesque privilege dripping from the mind of this woman, I can't. At this point, it's less about money and more about ensuring she still gets worshipped as the ultimate icon of narcissism, no matter what she does or lies about. Anything less than blanket global adoration just won't suffice for Megs the Merciless. Part of me almost feels bad for the poor Nigerian civilians who were subjected to this disgraceful charade in person, just trying to host a couple of seemingly polite royal guests, only for the truth to come out swinging that Megan was up to her old manipulative tricks. I could totally see why General Musa felt obligated to channel his war-hardened mustache twirls into full-on scathing takedown mode after getting the full scope of Megan's grift. This was his home nation being put on blast by a washed-up American fameboard desperate for one last admittedly clever, but still reprehensible scam. What's especially humorous is she seemed to drastically overestimate her own importance and influence by thinking she could pull off this duchess act in a post-colonial territory without being instantly slapped down. Unfortunately for Airhead McGee, this isn't sleepy backwater England anymore. There are far too many proud military vets and decorated public servants like Musa still holding the fort down. True bastions of honor and credibility who can spot an entitled Windsor wildling's deceptions from a thousand miles away and send their arrogance packing with some richly deserved public shaming. In the end, Megan once again gets a very loud, very humiliating wake-up call that nobody besides her most ride-or-die delusional stands actually cares about her fake Duchess Theatrix or liberal application of royal mythology. She's the ex-wife of an ex-royal at this point. End of story. If this were a movie, I like to think the big climactic final would involve Megan standing smugly at a podium during her little Nigeria photo op, opening her big dumb collectible plate-sized mouth to start spewing some long-winded diatribe about her truth. Then BM, an apple anointed with truth serum bashing directly into her nasal cartilage, interrupting her flow as she feverishly honks and nasal inhales. Then, rising up from the crowd in dusty old military fatigues, fists clenched and face grizzled from actual war battles, and not the soft couch ones Megan invents for attention, would be General Musa himself, an earpiece visibly murmuring, take her down, General. The entire world is with you on this one. Cut to slow-mo sequence of Musa power walking towards the podium, military ribbons lightly whipping in a gentle breeze, as Megs desperately gasps and motions for security. He steps up to the mick, leans in, and in a hushed yet mighty gravelly tone, lets loose the verbal lashing heard round the world. You vainglorious, disgraced duchess, your feeble deceptions and fealty to your own wanton ego ends now. The Nigerian people, and indeed the planet itself, shall no longer endure your tyrannical grifts and branding of the just. So, what do you guys think about this news, guys? Sounds off in the comment, and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.